Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. As you can see, the castle is under siege by brigands and... Pff, ouch, uh, let me put on my wings. There we go. The castle is under siege by brigands and I think there's one or two more surviving. Yeah, right there on the fence. Let's go get him. He should be no match for the mighty sword. And uh, there's one over there still. We'll go get him now. And with the raiders repelled, we can get to work. And the first thing I want to do today is do some work on this upper terrace because I want to start building the next phase of the castle. But in order to do that, I'm going to need tons and tons of dirt. And uh, I've got a little bit of dirt here. And these, yeah. Okay, that's not nearly enough. Let's get more. And one full shulker box of dirt should be enough to get me started. However, I don't think this is going to be enough to finish the project. But we'll see how far it goes and how far we get with this. So I'm just going to start right over here. Lay down some dirt lines and then fill them in as we go along. And this might take a while. And take a while it did indeed. But as you can see, we've placed down absolute mountains of dirt. Flat mountains, but mountains nonetheless. And I think this is the last line of dirt that we need to place for this particular terrace. But we are far from done because I want to remove all of the stone and replace it with dirt as well. Because I'm not quite sure if I want to turn this into a part of the castle or if I want to make a garden up here. And should I decide to make a garden up here, I'm going to need a nice grassy surface. And finally, we are digging out the last stone block of this terrace and now we can get to replacing it with dirt. And my shulker box that I brought over here is almost empty. As you can see, I have less than two stacks remaining. But fortunately, there are still tons more in the warehouse, which is good considering I'm probably going to need another shulker box. And indeed, here we are. I've brought down another shulker box as well as all the dirt I could carry in my inventory. And now we have the tedious process of placing it all down. And finally, we have the terrace all prepared up there. And looking at this, I am still not convinced if I want to make a garden up here. But I think in order to decide, I am going to need to make a bit of a change over here. I'm going to need to take down that mountain. And in order to take down this mountain, I'm first going to need to drain this lava pool. And seeing as I want to make a lava farm sometime in the future, I'm going to grab all of the buckets of lava out of here that I possibly can. I'm going to fill up one shulker box with buckets of lava and then I'll just block out the rest using some dirt and get rid of it. So there we go. That's a good start. Now, if you're wondering why I'm taking this slow and only picking up a few buckets at a time, I don't want to fill up my inventory with lava buckets and chuck the rest into the lava itself. So I'm only going to grab a few buckets at a time. Yes, it might take a little bit longer, but I'm playing it safe for now. And finally, we've picked up all the lava that we needed. We've blocked out the rest of the lava with some dirt. And I think we've got one more block on this side and then this pool should be drained let's see yeah that's going down and if i remove that that's all the lava up here so with the pool drained we can finally start getting to work on taking down the mountain but first let's make a quick trip to the gold farm let's get all of our tools fixed up and then we will go and tackle the stone behemoth And we're back and we're ready to get to work. Our tools are all fixed up and it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to bring this mountain to its knees.
Okay, hang on. Hang. No. No! No! No. So, in case you don't know what just happened, um... I wasn't paying attention and I have just broken my Silk Touch Netherite pickaxe. Which really sucks, but fortunately it is not that much of a problem. I still have a bunch of diamonds, I still have some netherite and I still have some smithing templates. Additionally, I have all of the villages where I can get the books so I can replace it, but it still kind of hurts. Alright, so I've got a diamond pickaxe, I've got all the books I need, some efficiency and some unbreaking, some mending to go on there, and then lastly, the silk touch. Now let's get our pick. Too expensive. How is that too expensive? I... I had to combine four efficiency three books to make the efficiency five, and that might be the issue. Um, so I guess I'll just have to get all of the books again and try and do that in the correct order. And I see that I have made this mistake once before. I've got an identical book up there and um, yeah, obviously I wasn't able to put that on a pickaxe either. Anyway, let's get started again. We've got unbreaking, we've got some mending now and we will try this once more and see if we get it right. So this time I did all of the books individually and I have my enchanted pickaxe. And it's time to turn those diamonds into netherite. So we've got our pickaxe, our netherite ingot, our smithing template and we have our silk touch pickaxe again. So let's give the sucker a name. Um, what shall I call it? I think I'll go with a classic, the silk pick mark two. And I think it'll be good because I'm already used to looking for the silk pick whenever I want my silk touch pickaxe. So yeah, I think I'm going with that. The silk pick Mark II is ready to go. And we are pretty much done with the digging. Now the next thing of course is to clean up the surface over here. I'm going to turn all of this into stone and then I'm going to level out the edges. So first thing I need to dig up all of the dirt, all of the ores, all of the gravel and then once that is done I can lay down some stone and I'll get to work on making this area nice and square. And with the surface redone it's time to even out the edges. So I'm going all the way out here to match it up with the back end of the other area. And this is going to be once again another area that needs to be filled up with dirt. And on the castle side I need to do the same thing pretty much. I'm going with stone on this side and then I will fill in everything in between. And we are pretty much done flattening out the surface, squaring it off and we are ready to start building. And what I'm going to do is actually build an extension of the castle here. I've decided against the garden, but first we are going to need a bunch of materials and that looks like a pretty decent start. And it might have been the blink of an eye for you, but I have spent the last hour and a half gathering materials and I am ready to get started. So as you can see I've got shulker box upon shulker box full of goodies and I'm just gonna lay them all out here for now. And let's take a quick peek at what we have. We have stone, stone, more stone and then we have some stairs, some concrete, some concrete powder and all sorts of other good stuff. Which means ladies and gentlemen it is time to start building the second phase of our castle.
and we have done some excellent work here today. The next phase of our castle is looking amazing. Just look at that. We've got four big towers. We've got some walls connecting it all. But unfortunately, we've also got some unsightly little edges down here. And um, yeah, I'll need to sort that out at some stage. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. Maybe build up the mountain to meet it or maybe just make an overhanging cliff. Now, however, there is one problem with the build that we have just completed. And if I didn't tell you about it, you probably wouldn't notice. But this tower over here on the left hand side is one block too far east, which means we've got a bit of a problem. And I only noticed this when I was building this wall and the slabs at the top weren't matching. So basically what I need to do is tear down that entire tower and move it one block to the west. And that is something that I just really, really don't feel like doing right now. I've been spending hours building these things and this is my reward. Just look at that janky arch over there. I... I really don't feel like tearing down that entire tower and rebuilding it. So I'm going to use a little bit of magic, some editing magic. And there we go. If I didn't say anything, you would never have known. But that tower is now one block closer to the other one, which means all of the walls in between fit. And if we take a look at those arches now, just look how beautifully they line up. And I must confess, I lied. It wasn't really editing magic. I spent an hour and 20 minutes tearing down that tower and rebuilding it. But eventually, I think it was all worth it because the wall is complete and it is looking good. All of the slabs on top now fit in. And if we take a look over here, I've finished this wall as well. I've added a little bit of a landing on this side. And if we take a quick look on the other side, you will notice that I have done the same over here. We have got the fence going all the way around and meeting up with the castle on that end. And then down here, we have the wall all completed all the way from the one end to the other. And all that's left to be done is a little bit of texturing with some mossy stone and cobblestone. But that will have to wait for another day because we are just about out of time for this episode. And the build is looking quite spectacular so far. Of course, there's a lot more work to be done here. There's a big tower that I'm going to put in the middle. I think it's going to be a tower at least. Maybe it's going to be another type of building, but I am not 100% sure yet. I still need to go and design something. But that, ladies and gents, is unfortunately all we have time for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. And if you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time, beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye-bye.